Uh, one of the funniest memories, which isn't very funny because it's vandalism, mm -hmm. but it was when uh, Zach kicked a football <laughs> and it bounced right off Kaylee's head and smashed the light above in the foyer. That was hilarious. I think one of the funniest moments I've had at Regent was in grade three, probably. Um, it was snowing and we're not allowed to have snowball fights, but we did anyways. And I picked up a snowball and I kind of chucked it really hard at Julia. And next thing I know, there's hot chocolate pouring down my back. And I don't know, it's just, it's a fun memory. Um, mostly because it was really cold and I wasn't cold anymore. Second, because snowball fights are fun. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> something that was really fun was trying to set up our tent when we went camping recently. Um, it took a really long time. Mostly because there was really two of us. Camping skilled. Ooh. Yeah, it was just us in like a seven, 12 person tent. Six person tent. Six person tent <laughs> trying to do it. So that was funny. And the rafting was a lot of fun. So. I uh, seem to have some recollection of uh, many days spent at recess and lunch. Uh, in kindergarten, of course. We would uh, run around the field, unbeknownst to the teachers. They thought we were just playing tag, but oh, it was much more. We would run around and mostly the boys would be running away from the girls because the girls were, well, the girls had a lot of energy. We did not. When they caught us, they would kiss us. And it was the most glorious thing in the entire world. I used to purposely run slow just so I could get a little bit. It's great, it's really great. Um. We've had a lot of good volleyball memories with all those quests that Mr. Walker does for us, you know? Yes. Yes, Mr. Walker was going to attack us, but it's okay, he was just being oh. Billy Bones. <laughs> I remember that time when we were all sharing a really big bed in Osoyoos, and, and there was like seven of us there, in it. Yeah, there was like seven of us sleeping on the bed. And who got pushed off again? Was it Heather? Heather, it was Heather. Heather got pushed off the end of the bed. And she was not happy about it. Um, the rest of us had a else? good time. It was a comfy bed. Would you remember that time in PE when Mr. Walker like fell off the stage? He almost and we, <laughs> we all thought that he almost died. Oh, and then that? we're all standing there. And we didn't know what to do. It was not funny. But he's like, yeah. it wasn't funny. <laughs> but it was really scary. Um, so one time, the crazy kid I am, the bell rang already, but Natasha was still in my class and she wasn't supposed to be there, but I decided to chase her out with a shovel. That was how I met Nathan. Our relationship has evolved a little bit since then. Uh, my favorite memory from Regent is, I think the first year I came to uh, Regent was, I saw Mr. Johnson. I saw Mr. Johnson was picking up a student and running around the hallway and I don't know what's happening. It was really weird. Yeah. Last week, I walked down the street on my hands. Yeah. Yes. Twin day. We had green pants and striped shirts. I look like a zebra. Yeah. Actually, yeah, no. I know. Zebra like the with, with green pants. You know those people? No. Zebras? No, no, I look like a prisoner. That's what I look like. Oh. I thought it would be like the Narnia people and they put like a striped zebra shirt and they had like the green pants for the like green screen and they're like sent towards zebras. There was this one time in Me the Cow two years ago, I wasn't here for this, but I don't know if anyone's gonna tell the story, so I'll tell it. He was uh, on the roller coaster at the West Edmonton Mall it, during the hour just before closing, and he and the, they, at nine, they turn off, the, the park is closed, so they turn off the power. Problem was, he was on the roller coaster when they shut off the power. So him and some other students, who won't be named for purposes of not humiliating them as well, we're stuck on the roller coaster for a long period of time. Uh, funny memory, one of the teachers. One time, Mr. Falcon tried to flick my head while I was putting my saxophone away or something like that, and he he actually said afterwards that his finger hurt more than what my head really did. So it was pretty interesting. Okay, so um, last year in wait grade eleven um, in first semester, I had chemistry and. 
The best part of chemistry was always Thursday last block because <laughs> we would have so much fun because we'd be really um, tired or bored from the class that we had before and we'd get really off topic and talk about the most random things whilst trying to actually get our work done but we never really got work done which was really fun so yeah. <laughs> The last seven years here at Regent have been a very memorable one. I, I will always remember the time that grade 11 girl spilled coffee on my white pants. I was very, very upset. However, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss this place. Um, I think one of the most um, embarrassing moments of, of my life is when I trip up the stairs, slip on water, get water sprayed on me by someone else who is not in my grade, getting cupcakes on my face because that person hates me. Many, many things, but um, again, I'm gonna miss this place. The last seven years I've been, um, here at Regent have been really good. Um, the worst mark I've ever gotten was 67% and yeah, thanks. So there was moments at Regent where I would wear uh, different colored shirts just for fun because I felt like I should be rebellious. Uh, so I would wear shirts like yellow, blue, green, purple, basically any color you could think of underneath my formal or PE strip. Uh, knowing that I would eventually get caught during the day, uh, but I would still do it. And ironic enough, the pr teacher that would catch me would be Mr. Al. Um, now, for those of you that know, he um, has trouble with colors. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, so it was, it was, it was, it was interesting. It was, it was just like every other teacher wouldn't catch me, but Mr. Al was just like maybe because it looked a different color or something, so that it like stand out more for him. Um, but yeah, interesting, interesting and ironic. Oh, one memory I've had that will never leave me is when we were all sitting in French class, doing our work quietly. I think there was a quiz, and all of a sudden you hear a big thump. And we all turn around and Jasmine's on the ground. <laughs> that was her grand entrance to French class and I've never forgotten that. When I first came to Regent meeting Jasmine and her being on a sugar high and running full speed at a tree and hitting her hand in it and getting stuck and not being able to get out. So when was it? Like, it was just like some random day. It was Halloween, okay, it was Halloween uh, grade 11 I think and so all of a sudden there was like a bunch of us just sitting at a table just like kind of chilling because we didn't have class or whatever. I had had and a lot of candy. Like a lot, probably like three bags. Something like that. Yeah, and so all we see from the corner of our eye is like Jasmine flying, running towards the table and she jumps onto the table and the table collapses and we all just lost it. No one asked if she was okay. We were just <laughs> laughing for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I met Angelica in grade 10 and got uh, tidal waved with hugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Basically, that's Angelica for you. But you received them and you still do. Yeah. So me and Angel me Angelica good. loved Justin Trong. Oh. We loved him. Oh my gosh. We thought it he was, was hilarious. hilarious. When he banged his head against the wall in English. Oh, that <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Remember he's he like, made a boom, dent in this boom, 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 boom. Okay, Justin Chuang was definitely a very special, very person. special person. Yep. Yes, and he was reading a speech in English in Mrs. Rowell's class, yeah. and out of the blue, all of a sudden, he just decides to bang, like, <laughs> just turn around and bang his head against the wall, and then he collapsed on the ground. Yeah, collapsed just out of nowhere. <laughs> Making the whole class like wonder what the heck just happened and then Mrs. Rao was like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And then we figured out he did it on purpose for some reason and we didn't really understand why. Was... And it was just, it was a very funny. Justin Tron. Justin Tron. We'll never forget you. Yeah, yes. the dent is still in the wall. The dent is still in the wall. We'll never forget him. No, in our hearts forever. All right, so my favorite memory from RCA was uh, when we were reading Peace Sucker River and uh, Mr. Field started singing Peace Like a River to us, and it was, it was beautiful. It brought a tear to my eye. My favorite trip was the grad rafting trip. It was so much fun, we made a big splash. And last year I went to a play for drama, and it's called um, The Number Nine. It's a wild bus ride, and it was very funny. Some of the funniest memories was the twerk-off we had at the grad rafting trip because uh, 
Andrew Pearson and Luca were really good at twerking. And I learned a few things from their twerking. So my favorite memory would be going to Music Hall in grade 10 and 12. And um, it was meeting a lot of people, having fun, and learning a new experiences. I would say Misty, Mr. Walker. Yeah. Mr. Walker's hilarious. I mean, like, all the nicknames he gives us and yeah. stuff. Huevos rancheros son deliciosos, maravillosos. Me gusta comer cualquier tipo de comida, latina, mexicana, colombiana, dominicana. <laughs> Gracias a Dios por esta comida. Now have to be Chicken Thursdays. Only a region can you find a teacher that would flip over a desk just to make an analogy. <laughs> One thing, you'll always find at Region. It's a plentiful assortment of good people who just really, they're very unique. <laughs> and um, each of them has interesting personalities. I mean, you've got Ryan Chang, you've got um, David Buchholz, for instance. He usually struggles to get to the point in all of our classes, it's something along the lines of, ah, does that a lot. And then, uh, and then you have me. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. People here, you'll never, you'll never find people anywhere else like the people that we have. One thing that you really see in the school is that the teachers care a lot. Like the administration, the principal, the teachers, everyone. They seem to care a lot more about the student body than what you see in most other schools, especially nowadays, and particularly in this area. So it's a very good thing, and it's a blessing. Only at Region can you find a person walking around with a penguin backpack. Only at Region you can find Trisha. Yeah. <laughs> Only at Region will you find games like wheelchair basketball, matuki, dice ball, things like that. Mr. Walker's PE classes are awesome. Only at Regent will you find Reggie the Lion. He's a pretty great guy. I mean, lion. And yeah, I mean, there's, there's not a lot of words you could use to describe Reggie the Lion. He's just really awesome, you know? He's what, he just embodies the spirit of Regent, I think, and yeah. Like, I really hope that his legacy passes on, you know? Only at Regent do you <laughs> see jazz choirs performing in the middle of class. Seriously. <laughs> in the middle of Bible class, the jazz choir team will be like, kids practice. <laughs> <laughs> and off they go. It's like, oh, okay. And where it's normal to see like random people just like fighting or like laughing or hugging or something on the floor and like just weird people, weird <laughs> things. No, do you like see like people like singing? I think that's just you, Angelica. Singing, She's describing dancing. herself. <laughs> She's describing herself. Well, it's normal to see that here. It's true. Maybe I made it normal. Maybe. Set a legacy. <laughs> so, uh, something you'll only find at Regent. Uh, I was walking down the hall one time and uh, I feel something on the back of my head and I look around and it's Mr. J with the water gun and he's like squirting at my head. And uh, we got a couple other people too. Yeah. <laughs> only at Regent, only at Regent would you find people having to pay to wear casual clothes for two dollars. Yes. <laughs> Friendship is uh, one of the yeah. things, big things that I find at Regent. Um, how everyone can, I don't know, talk to one another and just be a big family. That just, and chapel. Chapel is amazing when we really get into it. One thing you would find at Regent, Regent, Regent dating. dating. Region dating for sure. Region dating. 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 You'll only find this at region, and that would be the term region dating and what it entails. Only at region you can find. Which group? Only at region will you find the purple scorpions. What is life? Father's life.